There's two wee oyster catcher chicks in here. Uh, they both come in yesterday. They're kind of similar size. One's a little bit bigger than the other. One came in because it was dropped by a gull. The other one had fallen down some sort of drain uh, and so it was brought into care. He's very skinny. He looks quite fluffy, but that's because he's got all this downy sort of feathering on him. Uh, he really isn't in the best body weight. Feels okay though. He's got absolutely tiny wings at this stage. This dowdy little chick gives no hint as to what it will become. Adult oyster catchers are strikingly black and white, with a bright orange bill and pink legs. As waders, they are most often found on beaches, seeking out shellfish and worms. But in the last 50 years, more and more have been found inland, living and breeding by rivers and streams. Sadly, these beautiful birds are in decline in Scotland, and so any saved individuals can only be a good thing. These guys have been pecking away at their seeds, which is really good, because sometimes when the oyster catchers come in this age, they're just really stressy and they don't like when you touch them and they just want to be away from you. But these guys aren't too bad. This is a little one. I think he does take a wee bit better than the other. Let's see if he takes. See if he takes when he's down here. Obviously all these animals have come in for a reason. They've either not been well or been sore or something's happened to them. So for them to get that second chance, like it brings a tear to your eye sometimes, um, but in a good way. It's two weeks since the oyster catcher chicks Scuttle and Grimsby arrived at the center. After a tricky start, they've been eating well and growing up fast. So today, wildlife assistant Rebecca is going to upgrade their accommodation. Working with the baby birds, it can be a little bit scary because there is a little life in your hands. But the great thing about birds as well is they grow up so fast. So if you're away for a couple of days, your little baldy chick that was bald before has now grown feathers and you're just like, oh, you're growing up and it's very cute. So this is the wee guy that we, ooh. <laughs> this is the wee guy that we first saw. So you can tell he's a lot bigger now. He's still got kind of a baby head, but his little body's coming through. There you go. You can start to see his little wing feathers starting to come through now. And that high pitch call, that's really kind of iconic of the oyster catchers. You'll hear this call and you know an oyster catcher's nearby. There we go, I'll pop him in. Another few weeks in the brooder, and then these guys can upgrade again and move into an aviary. We'll start to put them outside when most of the floof is off them and you can see the majority of them is just the, the proper feathers coming through and that means they're able to fly and then we know they're definitely ready to go. Because at this stage you wouldn't be able to get any flight at all. So that's why we've got them here. Oh, <laughs> 